to bunnies, so I'm going to be doing a calamity hit for today. And here are the mods I'm using. You can pause if you want to look at them better. I'm using quite a lot. Major one is calamity, and then just some other smaller mods. So now, start the playthrough. Also, you may be wondering why I'm not doing a um, don't starve together uh, video like Vortex said I was. is because um, I'm not very good at don't starve together, and I was not able to find the terrarium, which is used to show off the bosses. I didn't, I didn't want to cheat it in, so I decided just not to make a video. And there are already a bazillion videos about the topic anyway, so it kind of would have been a bit late. Okay, I don't want to do that. Never mind. Slider back. Ooh, this is some good stuff. Also, some of the new comments said you wanted me to do, like split. Some of the on the Discord server said you wanted to do split mod and stuff, but the reason I'm not doing that is because I'm gonna play. I was gonna play to a uh, calamity anyway because I've always wanted to do a uh, calamity and 1.5 seems like a great time to do it. So um, the poll on my Discord server was just asking if I wanted if you, want, if you guys wanted videos, and you guys said yes. By the way, this all happened on my Discord server, which you can join. We do polls and. The polls do actually influence what videos that come out, so yeah. Also, I do take suggestions. So yeah, just sorting my inventory here. That's always important. Your inventory is messy, it's not fun anymore. Anyway, I'm also gonna skip over a lot of the boring stuff in this video. Like mining or crafting or building I, I'm, I'm probably gonna include a bit of building but not much i'm also gonna focus on bosses and important stuff to progression also i like to keep all my accessories hidden that's just me so doing that ahead of time now anyway so uh yeah some time has passed i got some gear got some iron armor uh the cool Wolfram shield thing, and I got a Wolfram summon. So I had a flying car route from that desert pyramid that I just exited. And interesting. What's that thing? Hmm. Not moving. I also got the chain of if you're wondering. So, yeah. Boomerang time. Okay, not fighting back. Interesting. Not halfway dead. I wonder if it does anything good. It has a lot of health. A thousand health is a lot. Oh, okay, it's a boss. Um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Let's see. Doesn't look too hard. Now I can take it out. It sort of looks like a, um, Corruption version of the brain of Cthulhu, now that I think about it. Might have been what they were going for. But yeah. Kind of interesting. Summons a lot of minions, like the worms, the little weird armor things, and then small minions that sort of hover around it. Not doing very well. Like, I've definitely dealt some damage for sure, but my health is. I've also taken a lot of damage. 80% not bad. So I don't know what, like, stage what boss this is in progression. Um, I know all the vanilla bosses, and I know there's, um, Desert Scourge early on in Calamity. And this thing can be summoned fairly easily just by going to the corruption, so I'm assuming it's pretty early in progression. Probably like before or after either worlds. But from the rate I'm going, I would say I could probably take out this boss with better gear. I haven't fought any bosses yet, so this is my first one. That'd be kind of cool. I think I might even be able to get it down to 50%, which would be pretty nice. Okay, so my health is sort of low. Really low, actually. And it's almost at 50. Yep, there we go, less than 50. I mean, my health's a lot less than 50%. Okay. 
So take out the eater of worlds, take out that thing, and okay. I mean, oh, the worm. Oh, well. I did not expect to win that at all. Well, we actually all got farther than I went. Now to build some housing. Uh, because I have Alchemist NPC and Calamity, there are a lot of NPCs, and because this is 1.3, and not 1.4, though 1.4 wanted is coming soon from the looks of it. Um, I do not have to worry about uh, NPC happiness, I'm just gonna build a giant NPC box. Not a prison, just a box. I, I'm not a big fan of NPC prisons, I don't know. I just like to build them in the style, 12, wide, 6 tall, platform the top and bottom, doors, workbench and chair, and one torch. I find it's a really easy way to get... I found it just simple housing, and it looks okay-ish. So yeah. Anyway, also I find like building like 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 building out the framework and then going through for every house and adding one chair, one thing, one door at a time. Really fast way to build housing, but building building each house one at a time, like build a bunch of houses and just go through and give each one of them a chair, each one of them a table, each one of them doors, each one of them a torch. Anyway, not how to deal with magic storage. Let's see, I can have the storage cart and the storage access. I'm gonna put all my stuff in there. Okay, yeah. Turns out I spent forever trying to put my stuff in a storage access with no actual storage container thingies that are required. So yeah, that was rather fun. And then I learned I needed to get those, so. I did manage to get some storage containers. But you know what I completely forgot about? That's right, the crafting interface. Ha ha ha, and I built it in a way that, um, yeah, uh, there's no actual room for the crafting interface, so yeah, that's fun. I'm gonna, I was gonna, I'm gonna have to move, it, uh, I'll have to move everything. Yeah, yay. This is, so I just moved everything from my chest to my storage, and now from storage to testing them, I have to move them back to storage again. This is a lot of item juggling, and the lack of the transfer all feature, and the, for some, the transfer all feature not working really amplifies this. Anyway, time to go do some mining, I believe. Try to get some sapphires. Okay. Time lapse, time lapse has been paused. You can't actually break those. Interesting. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Just put this. And now. Okay. Have a storage hard access. And the, and everything is good to go with magic storage. Okay. Gotten some better gear. Not mu not much better, not much not much better gear actually, but a lot more health. And I also have the I also got some food item to get me the well felled buff, so that should make hive mind a bit easier. Hopefully, I will better get him this time. Okay, didn't take too long. Yeah. The more health, I have like almost double the amount of health I had last time. So, I think more than double actually. So that should make everything a lot easier. Yeah. I know in Calamity, like eventually you get a lot more than 500 health, but I'm just wondering how. Like, there's a like, st I don't know you can get more than 500 with potions and stuff, but I know Calamity, there's a way to increase your health beyond potions. I can't sort of the basics of Calamity, but not much about it. I've, I've seen like parts of it in other videos, but I've never like seen a full playthrough or anything. So yeah. Yeah. Hive mind is gonna be an interesting boss for sh boss for sure. So 
So yeah. Okay. My health is a lot better for where he is health wise. I guess I'll call hive mind he. I don't really know. It's a corrupted brain. Um. So yeah. Fight's going pretty well. The magic carpet is a surprisingly useful item. Like, really useful. Hmm. Boomerangs are a pretty good weapon, actually. Yeah. Now that I think about it, boomerangs are great. They're melee, but they're also ranged. So, yeah. Half health. Way more, like, way more health than I had when I got him to half health last time. Kind of far away from a heal, so gotta be careful about that. And I think he's, in, and he's definitely in second base now, where he flies and just walks. But yeah, just 3,200 more to go. That's a lot of things. Unless you're like a weapon that deals like so little damage. This fight has been taking a while. That's for sure. But oh well. Let's see. Hmm. Don't think I'm gonna die. This, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna die sooner. He's gonna die sooner. It's just gonna be like kind of a long fight. Long fights are kind of the worst. In Terraria. Like if they're quick, it's boring, but, like, if they're just, like, super drawn out, it's also boring. You know? Because if they're quick, you're obviously, like, way more powerful than them, but if they're super drawn out, that means you're probably underpowered and just good at dodging. It's probably what's happening here. I don't think the Hand of Boomerang is a proper weapon for this boss, but... Or maybe it is, I don't know. I, like I said, I've never played Terraria... Not Terraria. I've played Terraria, Terraria a lot. I've never played Calamity before. So, about three-fourths of the way done. Less than 2,000 health to go. And the game sort of froze. Okay. That happens. Like, sometimes I accidentally click off the browser. Sometimes it just freezes. Okay. Whoa, okay. Let's see, less than a thousand health. It's like ten twelve percent. I already dealt six thousand damage. So doing an extra like seven hundred should not be a problem. And I think my health is is currently more than what my max health was left when I fought it. So I think I have this fight un under control. F less than five hundred health, like five percent. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no. There is no way I'm losing this fight. Unless it has, like, some, like, third trade because, like, when it's at, like, one health where it insta-kills you or something. But that probably wouldn't happen. Yeah, like, one hit left. Okay, one hit now. Woohoo! And that is Hive Mind Defeated. So. Uh, what is that thing that I missed? It's the Hive Mind as an item. I guess that, like, would we have to, like, craft, like, some weapon? Like, if all the bosses drop items, which I don't know, this one has, I'm not sure. I'm going to fight I have to in a second now. Maybe it could be, like, to craft some, like, super powerful weapons, like, all the bosses combined near the end of the game. I don't know. Anyway, I don't have that much of an arena, but I'm going to have to go with Hive Mind. I looked it up. Hive Mind is way past I have Cthulhu. I have Cthulhu should be a piece of cake. Oh, my game is... Uh, yeah, I think I right now I'm about messing with OBS settings because I had it set up a bit wrong. Okay. Fix that. It's something to do with the um, audio. Anyway, boss cursor I think is actually pretty useful. Very useful, actually. Yeah, no. This is not going to be a challenge whatsoever. His health is just dropping. I kind of like skip a lot of questions to go by going straight to Hive Mind, but oh well. Hand of Boomerang is a very good weapon. Also, it's a lightning storm right now. See, like the lightning strikes and just happened. And this is from the various weathers mod. 
kind of cool mod. Adds a bit of extra difficulty without being too difficult. Wonder if a boss can get struck by lightning. If so, pretty cool. Well, I almost got struck there. Okay, this is getting close. Um. Yeah. Oh, new record. Ha ha. Because it's always going to be a new record when you fight it the first time. Interesting. Torn up with some lore. Yeah, I'll check out that later. Also, an eye of Cthulhu item. Now, time for Desert Scourge. By the way, I already did fight Eater of Worlds in this playthrough. Just the footage got deleted. So, but I did include the footage of the refight I did. Because I refought it to get some more Demonite. So, I included the footage of the refight. Which is going to be not nearly as exciting as the original fight. But, uh, sorry I can't materialize footage that I didn't record. So, yeah. Like, there was, like, total... Of, I had, like... I did through like six hours of footage to get all of this, so I yeah, I'd been playing for about seven hours and I managed to only record about six hours of it. Things I missed were just like some minor stuff. I missed um main things I missed were the um Eater World fight and the Skeletron fight. So those fights, while they did happen, won't be in this video. Sorry. But at least I didn't miss any clam oh no, I did miss giant clam also. But yeah. Oh, interesting. Defeating Desert Scourge? Summon a sandstorm. Anyway, time for the destroy or refight. Also, I went mining and got some molten gear. Figured mining's pretty boring. Oh, jeez, I'm almost drowning. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. Now I'm stuck. Oh. Oh, no, just water walking boots. Or not water walking boots. I got lava wagers, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I was able to get Love Riders, so yeah. I was going to drain this water first before fighting either of Worlds again. I mean, I'm good at the fight, and I've already beat it once. I just don't want to, like, get trapped underwater. So yeah. By the way, this metallic die, really cool die. I got it from Strange Planet. Yeah, because I forgot about that, because this is 1.3 and 1.4. Strange plans you can't do until hard mode. And I think I might be taking this out in just one go. From the looks of it, yeah. I'm just have to deal with the head segments. Huh. It's gonna be way easier than the last fight. The last fight broke into like a bazillion segments. Yeah. That was easy. Now, for one more boss fight. Ooh, blueprints. Nope, well, no blueprints. Now, well, that's the cool, like, thing. Now, I'll investigate it later. I want to get to that chest, but the laser things keep stopping me. Anyway, now time for Crabulon. Which I know so, I, I know, I sort of, like, waited. Got some better gear. I got Knight's Edge. But I was not, I was not able to, I, was, I had to wait for the mushrooms to grow, so this is going to be a piece of cake. Oh, it's up there. Mm -hmm. Blood Moon. What fun. Oh, ooh, okay, don't want to get strapped. Ha, oh, oh, yeah. This is not going to be an exciting fight. Like I said, too short, boring, too long, boring. So yeah, sorry if a lot of these fights are boring. Anyway, that's about, that's the end of the first part of the playthrough. Um, next episode I will be starting hard mode. So yeah. This series should not be nearly as long as my whips playthrough. Because I actually got a suggestion, um, a Discord server to make my video shorter. So yeah. Uh nothing good from the boss mushrooms. Anyway, see you all later. Bye!